Hello, and welcome to my video. Today, I'm going to cover creating a cost, a cost structure, and how it can be assigned to a product or a supplier. Once that is done, I'm going to create a purchase order and go through how the cost is calculated. First, I'm going to create a new cost code. I'm going to navigate to common data, logistics tables, costs, Click New. I'm going to give the cost a new code. Description. The active box is checked. Then the cost nature can be selected from this drop down list. It could be packing, loading, pre transportation, and the list goes on. So in this example, I'm using loading. The dock exchange rate type can be checked for the daily rate or it can be unchecked and uh, something can be selected from this rate type. However, I'm just gonna leave it for the daily rate. For the product cost calculation, we have several options to choose from. It can be percentage per net price. It could be fixed amount, amount per unit, amount by fixed bracket, schedule, weighted amount, or a formula. In this example, I'm using fixed amount and I, I want the stock valuation to be checked to yes. So the cost of this landed cost can be added to the product. I am not using analytical. And once that is done, I am going to click create. Once the cost code is created, the next thing to do is to create a new cost structure and add the cost code to it, or you can use an existing cost structure. I'm going to go back to common data, logistics tables, cost structures. I'm going to click new. I'm going to create a new cost structure code. I have to make sure it's active. Then I'm going to click on the magnifying glass and look up the cost structure, uh, the cost code I just created. Because the cost code was a fixed amount, I have to enter a value in the value field. So I'm going to assign $10 here, and the currency would be USD. Once that is done, I'm going to create the new cost structure. Once the cost structure is created, the next thing I'm going to do is to navigate to common data, products. I'm going to select a product, then click on the purchasing tab and here I can assign the cost structure to this product which means if this product is purchased by any supplier the cost the additional cost will be applied to the purchase receipt or I can assign a supplier here and enter the cost structure to that specific supplier. So whenever this product is purchased from this supplier, the additional cost will be added to the product. In this example, I'm just going to add the cost structure to the purchasing tab. I'm going to pick my cost structure and I am going to save the changes. Now that the cost code and cost structure are created and assigned to a product, the next step to do is to create a purchase receipt and observe how the cost calculates on the receipt. I'm going to navigate to purchasing, receipts, click new, enter the receiving site, the supplier, then in the line section, I'm going to enter the product, tab to the quantity field, I'm receiving 10. Then you can see that my price, my gross price is $5 and the cost structure is assigned to this product. So I'm just going to close out of this 
And once that is done, I'm going to create the receipt. Now, on the cost tab, as you can see, the total cost of this product or of the 10 units we're ordering is $50. And the product cost total, which is the landed cost or the cost structure that we assign to the product is $10. And the total of this receipt would be $60.